Hello, I am Count Zero. This is a breaking it all down let's play for Lost Planet 3. My copyright strike is up, so I have full access to being able to do episodes longer than 15 minutes, which I can do episodes that take up a whole episode, as opposed to just a few minutes, just a portion of a, a level. Kind of what I want. Testing levels a bit so I can you can hear me and also gameplay audio. Try this on normal. I'm doing Lost Planet 3 because chronologically this is first, and I believe the organization of the game works well enough where this is divided in better chunks for episode divisions, I think. I will play Lost Planet 1 a little bit later. I'm going, definitely not going to do Lost Planet 2, because Lost Planet 2 barely has any story mode to speak, to speak of. I'll take you out. That's a <laughs> Your harmonizer's toast, but I gave you mine. So much tea energy to draw on Did you. Did it work? Are they safe? I think so. Kaden gave them cover. If they stick to the plan, they should be miles deep before another punches through. Good, good. You need to be gone when they do. That chance, old man. You're my only family, and I'm not. Leaving you in here. We're doing the media's res thing. Damn it, we're getting moved this thing. You're as stubborn as your grandmother. <gasps> it's all my fault. I just listened to you. No, you were right. I deserved every word. No, just forget about that, please. It doesn't matter. It does. You've been keeping secrets so long. It's hard to stop. There are things you have a right to know. We'll have time later. Stop. Come on. Damn it. Damn. You know, back on Earth. My father believed you had to confess your sins. If you want to be forgiven. He never got the chance, but... Maybe this is mine. The Earth was a troubled place when I left it. I was 32 when they recruited me. A bold and lucrative opportunity to be part of an expedition to an unexplored world. Fifty years ago now. Fifty years of living with the consequences of my choices. Four cues from uh, fifty years alien since I games. damned us all.
more difficult than it is to fight, fight by five. I think they would have fought as a drop route that didn't send them right through a lightning storm. God damn, it's cold. How long you reckon before they come for us? Depends on how off course we were blown by the storm. However, it appears the transponder guiding our welcoming party to this location was lost in the crash. Without that, our odds of survival are remote. I suggest we find it. Stay here while I track it down. Mar being kind of passive aggressive. We're alone out here. I'm not sure you're managing your amount of heat yet. Yeah. Am I that low on battery? Let me fix this real quick. All right, fresh batteries in the controller, so let's continue, shall we? I'm using the blue on screen to help side of the. Uh, 
There it is. Now, where's the last place you look? Somewhere in that ship, I got a 30 off six old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol, though. Good enough. Give me a second. I'm going to retire to the relative safety of the interior. Good luck up here. Turn down my sensitivity a little bit.
has been damaged. Hey, you're in construction, right? See if you can repair this thing. Yeah, I see the problem. Give me a second. Nobi, know how to repair. First, you have to find the proper repair frequency. Yeah, thanks, boss. I know what I'm doing here. Do yourself. Huh. There we go. Oh, all right. Switched. Wrong. There we go. This is a nice little objective. Oh, hi. that way. Great. Now hold on. Okay, okay. LaRoche, you take the high road while I round the bend. Aye, aye, I thought... And that was my introduction to EDN-3, baptism by fire. The rest of the trip to base camp was uneventful, but calm didn't last for long. Looks like a pretty good place to wrap up the episode as we have to stop. Look, you weren't her only friend on this base. We all missed Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that as an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette, you know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though? I never said that. You didn't have to, you just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter to you. It still does, Bonnie, but this isn't my call. Nevik is footing the bill for this operation. They insisted. And that's it. Not a peep from you. Not a... <laughs> It's only because of me that you still even have a job here. Oh, yes, a job answering to... Him. Uh, Dr. Kovach, I see you made it in one piece. Yes, it's been an eventful morning. Bill Braddock, I presume? Mm -hmm. Dr. Roman? And some time. Feels like yesterday, Kenny. You'll excuse me. Okay. And you must be Jim Payton. You really stepped up out there, huh? You must have a million questions. I uh, hope you don't mind being thrown into the deep end. Uh, sir, I'm here to work. Capture. All I need to know is how a man can earn some credits around here. <laughs> Thermal energy. That's the name of the game. Acred blood? I used to tell you, boss, we just spilled gallons of the stuff. Oh, it's well more than that. It flows through everything on EDN3. Creatures, tectonics, all the way down to the core makes life possible in a climate like this. No other substance like it in the universe. And Nevik believes this can solve the energy crisis on Earth. Oh, I believe it can. We're here to study it. Find a way to make it viable, cost-effective for harvest and export. We are leaving no angle unexplored. Very good. Science is always best. That is a no, uh, rough statement. Pete and I got a lot of contracts that'll keep you busy. Construction repairs on the base, but... Uh, if you want to go home a rich man, you'll take on that hazard pay. Keep us supplied with this stuff. Yes, sir. Just point me to my rig. Peyton, I can't recommend strong enough that you visit the quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the acrid can get. But first you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gale, as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, Doctor, if you'll stay in chat. Sorry you had to see that. You know, Bonnie.
Okay, an objective list. Main mission and sex quest. Story. Okay. Alright. And this is a good place to wrap up this episode. So next time we will continue on with getting our rig and our hunting knife. <laughs>